This video is a video of things that I will be taking to the Rutherford Street Fair, which is happening on Labor Day, uh, Monday, September, whatever. I don't know just yet. I'll, uh, I'll put it in my description and you know, I can't remember. Anyway, I will be taking four PS2 uh, consoles, complete, tested, um, most with memory cards, some with two memory cards, PS1 memory card and a PS2 memory card. All have at least a PS2 memory card. Three fats, one slim. Heavily tested and working, um, again, complete, some with actual controllers, most with actual controllers, uh, one with, I think, aftermarket controllers. I'm not going to be taking a lot of PS2 games to sell or video games in general. I'm mostly uh, going to be taking consoles and other consoles, but what I will be taking is some games as throw-ins for whoever buys the consoles. I will uh, be selling my consoles like 40 bucks. Anywhere from 35 to 40, depending on what is included in a console. And um, what I'll do then is I'll throw in a couple of games so you can go home and just have something straight off to play. After this, there will be more things of what I am bringing to the Rutherford Street Fair. This might be a long video. I'm taking a lot of stuff. Besides Marie's jewelry, which I'm not really displaying, which will have a lot, I will be taking an assortment of rock and roll CDs. At the very least, two trays, maybe more. All right, I'm taking another PS2 fat, so that'll be five PS2s, a PS1 original, two Sega Genesis, everything, all these consoles are complete. I got a Donkey Konga with the game. Let's see, the Sega Genesis number ones will either come with um, a Sonic 1 or, or Sonic 2 game. And then I'm also taking this, uh, probably I'll, I'm going to get 30 bucks a piece on, this, on the Sega ones. I don't think I'm going to take less. Uh, PS2, 35 to 40, depending on what it comes with. Uh, PS1, I don't know, 20, 25. Donkey Konga drums, I got them priced probably 20 bucks. And uh, then I got a Ice Blue Nintendo 64 tested with a Diddy Kong racing game. I want to get as close to 75 as possible. And more to come be taking uh, an assortment of Mad Magazines. I will be taking a Pokemon XD GameCube and I will be taking a Sega Genesis 3 system in box. I'm going to try and get as close to $100 as possible for that one. I will be taking a bunch of records. These records will range in value from about 20 and up. I will be selling them for $10, 3 for 25 I got this bag and this bag, possibly more if I, if I can add to them. I will be taking this Pikachu 025, it's limited edition. I think this is worth 15 20 and Then this Mickey Mouse radio, it's nice and clean. I think I'm going to try and get, I don't know, 20 for that. I will be taking this bucket of harder to find Atari 2600 games. Harder to find titles. They're priced individually, mostly to fill this bucket so I can, uh, I can put this in the car already. I am bringing a box of paintings. Uh, Bruno Martini, I, uh, Martini, after named after the famous drink, I assume. I priced this at four fifty. And I just, um, I bought two pencil sign lithos by uh, Sandra Finkels, uh, Finkenberg. Priced at two hundred each. I just, I'm gonna put these back in a box, but in order to show them to you. Here's another one. Nice New York scene. All right. I bought some Mars Cats paintings. They don't really sell for a lot, but whatever. I had them handy. Uh, Catrail Efrani. Uh, Eugene Le Le <laughs> Prefer. It's a uh, L E L I P V R E. Le Le Pier, maybe. Uh, I bought, it's a pencil sign etching dancers, and I think I got another, yeah, I got another one. 
Let's see, I put those in a hundred each. Uh, this is Kuro, uh, Kairo Kawana. I'm sorry, Kairo Kawano Japanese woodblock. I had most of these in the garage, and I fished them back out, and I just changed prices because I hadn't taken them out in a year. So I lowered prices for some, I raised prices for other. All right. Another Morris Cats. I made the small one 100. I don't care. If people say they sell for less. I'm not selling up freaking painting for like 20 bucks at a street fair. Here's Maria Elizabeth uh, Riddlestein, Baroness Vaughn. Kind of a floral impressionist. I made that 250. Uh, here's a Morris Cat. So I made this one 200 because it's a larger one. It's kind of a beach seagull scene. And then here's a Raphael Sawyer uh, lithograph. It's hand signed. I made it 450. All right, I'll be bringing more stuff. All right, here's some more stuff I'm bringing. Uh, these two lamps. I put 150 on this one. These are like Satsuma type lamps, and I put 200 on this one. I've had these out before, so we'll see. They're ceramic, metal bases. All right. And I'll just show it. They're Japanese. All right. Um, here's a Cloisonne Champlev lamp. It's got flower flowers. I put a hundred on that. It's got some little dents, so I could have marked it higher, but I don't even know if it'll sell. Two orange glass vases. I have a price tag of 60 on that one. This one I didn't put a price tag on. Just didn't get around to it, but I'll, tr I don't know, 30, 40. Put 150 on this. This is like a wall mount lamp. I and mean, it's pretty cool. Not sure what it's worth. We'll see what happens. And I have this modernist uh, needlepoint, kind of Picasso. Esque. I want to put this out. I put 200 on that, so we'll see uh, what happens. Uh, be taking these quilts. These are the only ones I have left from about 20 or so that I had. I'm not going to sell them for a lot, just to move them along. And I will take this New York Yankees shirt because why not? It's it's in one of the boxes I can use to pad. Something more fragile. All right, I'll add more later. Taking these two John Cena WWF. Um, pillows, Th uh, throw pillows. Should be worth. I'm not gonna bother putting a price sticker on them because there's, I'd have to pin it and stuff. They're probably worth like 25 a piece. I'm gonna try and get maybe 30 for the pair. All right, this is more stuff. I'm taking to Rutherford, but I've had this stuff there before, so this will probably be the last year I take it there. Uh, this looks like a D E X U Z, and just a nice sun. Here it is. Uh, D E S U I R made in Italy. Desu I R made in Italy. All right, so it's in Italian. I was going to say maybe Spanish. Uh, I got these two. You know, I I gave them a shot. Seventy-five for the pair. They're sterling weighted, of course. They're not in too bad shape. They've got they've got some light dents. Um, this may be, you know, I'll, all this stuff. I think I will probably stick in my showcase if it doesn't sell. Here's another pair of candlesticks crown 25 I put for the pair um, this is a um, Costa Boda yeah Costa Boda Ulrika Heidman Valian picture if this doesn't sell I'll probably put this in my showcase it's a Mexican obsidian uh, Aztec type face Ugh. this is like an Italian vase uh, Italy here's another tile just kind of nice. I guess it's florals. What do I have on that? Yeah, I put 40. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, here's a squeaky toy. I'm not taking that. Um, this is just like an owl sculpture. And it's got some kind of label on the back. Schweitz. It's German. I remember that. I put it at 50. Definitely some of the stuff is going to my showcase until I can I have the time to get on eBay after the Rutherford. This is a pool pottery charger. Pool England. I haven't, you know, I've had this a long time, but I have 120. And I, I think it probably went up in value. I don't know. Closing a uh, bowl made in Japan. Ando closing a. I think 35 is reasonable for that. This is M. Ratcliffe, Margaret Ratcliffe. I put 60 on it. I see some striations, but nothing major. Definitely, you know, there's some some kind of crack type marks. Uh, 
45 and this is a M-O-T-A-G-N-E pewter repose uh, type vase imperial freehand orine luster vase kind of simple I put 70 on it this is just kind of neat it's carnival glass I don't know if I figured out who made it it's a turkey <laughs> I can research this stuff later. It doesn't matter though. I don't think I'm going to change the prices or, or anything or update them on this stuff. This is just it's it's just a contemporary contemporary signed piece of glass. I really didn't want to have to put this on eBay, but I might. It's signed somewhere. I know it is. There it is. It's right there. I think I had it upside down. Mickey. This is uh, German pie. It says something on the bottom. I never could figure it out. But it's like a boomerang vase. I put 45 on it. It's got a pretty neat design. And uh, I really like that orange color. And this bowl. I know what it is. It's Pisa. Yeah, it's German. I put 50 on it. Just nice mid-century modern. All right, I'll be adding more to this video. I'm gonna take these motorcycles uh, because why not? I think I'll probably just try it, try and sell them 20 for all, like $4, three for 10, do it that way. And, uh, more random stuff that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, break the, I'm gonna take this uh, steel sculpture. It was signed by, I think, Merle something. I couldn't find any info on him. Merle Molish. And uh, other than some dude that lived in Florida, whose name was Merle Molish. I don't know if he was an artist, but it's kind of cool. I think I'll ask around 100 or so. Um, I'm going to take this collector's case. I guess it's 15 or so. Um, I'm just going to take these because I'll put them inside of the, the case just as a filler. Probably about 10 each, I imagine. Between 5 and 10. Um, here's that Pac-Man that I had. It works really well. I might have to put new batteries in it. I'm going to take some more game stuff. I'm taking something really high end. I'm going to make a separate video about that. Um, I put 75 on it. I ought to be able to get 60 for it. I am like more than 30 into this. I'm like 35 or more. I don't really know. So I should be able to sell that. Um, it's funny. Someone at Columbus bought one that was in equivalent condition for 60. I would just sell it for 60, I guess. This is just random. I'm going to try and sell for 10 bucks. There's a chance I can sell this. It's not signed, unfortunately, you know, or not well signed. There, there, there was probably a sticker on the bottom. I'm just going to try and get 20 bucks. This ought to be good for, like, maybe 10 at the street fair. And these are, it's a Bobo Fett. These were T-shirt containers. I looked them up, verified. That's what they were. I think maybe 15. Uh, maybe I'll sell them both for 20. Um, all right, this video will continue. I'm thinking I'm going to take my two buckets of games because, like, why not? Um, it doesn't matter. As long as I got room in the car. If it works out that I don't, I got this bucket and this bucket. Just random assorted games. All right. You've seen this stuff before. I take it to the flea markets all the time. All right, uh, here's some more stuff that I'm taking to the Rutherford Street Fair. Uh, really nice. Murano Millefiori paperweight. I put 150 on it. Uh, I think this is. Uh, it says Indian wedding pottery. Signed JM SDP. I put 20 bucks on it. Uh, Murano Submerso vase. I put just 30 bucks on it. Uh, This is just another Murano vase. Put 50 bucks on it. Decimone, Italy. I think that means made in Italy. I'm not sure. Or Decimone. Uh, what did I put on that? I put 60. Okay. It's just Italian pottery. Some of the stuff, like I said, is going to wind up on eBay after this event Fenton this is like a powder jar or just a cover jar of some sort it's definitely an older one 
probably late 1800s, I put $90, $90 on it. All right, um, $90. This is like a pottery. It's made in Spain, and it's Alfaraz. Kind of modernist uh, heads. <coughs> sculpture. I like a pottery sculpture. Um, this is uh, Italy pottery, and it's this one's an Aldo Lodi, uh, Aldo Lodi Batosi. Aldo L. Batosi, Lodi, Lodi. And this was made by uh, four Rosenthal Netter. Just a Wedgwood. Uh, it's a nice old one. I put 75 on that one. I put 100 on this. And here's a Chinese wood chop. 20 bucks. Alright, uh, here are two Costa Boda. Anna Earhart. Ar make that Anna Erner. Erner. Uh, vases. Believe it or not, I found these separately. Two different places. Uh, I put 100 on each one. This is Murano Vaz, silver foil, paper label, tributed to Carlo Moretti. I put $200 on this. And this is just a large ant, crackle orange glass pitcher. Not really sure. Could be, I don't think it's Blanco. If I can, one of those guys. Uh, 50 bucks I put on. Alright, I've showed this before. This is a shaker sugar bucket it's got the lid um thought i had the i had the handle i don't know it got separated i'm going to take this anyway and i'll sell it with or without the handle as a piece of shaker if i find the handle i will include it i you know it should have been in the same place whatever i, you know, I, I think i had uh, some remnants of a label but i had like a hundred twenty on it or something but I'll be negotiable. On the handle, it was in the bag. Uh, as you can see, it's not attached. This piece needs restoration. But uh, I, it is complete, needs restoration. Uh, some sort of jewelry we'll be bringing. This is interesting. The, that's the Egyptian. Um, this other stuff isn't very valuable. Just kind of neat stuff. What are these? It's kind of windy. I'll be bringing this African bronze. Face mask. I put 250 on that. I'm bringing this um, nail art owl, kind of mid-century modern, brutalist style. I think I put 45 on that. I'm bringing this arts and crafts wood frame. It's got leaf corners. They applied. I put 75 on that. Yeah, I put 85 on that. You can't really see it, but I'm taking my uh, artist signed puzzle box. Uh, it's made of like a piece of burl wood. This will probably be the last time it's out. Uh, I'll take this. Why not? Uh, I'll take this because it fits in this box. Um, I think I already showed this frame in here. And I'm going to take uh, this belt. It's a toy. Probably like I get 20 to 30 bucks. I'm taking these arts and crafts and irons, and it comes with uh, fireplace tools that match. And I got two, obviously. And also, it has a sidearm and a really filthy kettle. I'm not sure what I'm going to ask on this. I'm thinking maybe six. All right, um, more of what I'll be bringing. Uh, this, I think I might end it here and then combine everything. And then as I add more stuff to what I'll be bringing, I will um, probably make a, like a second, a second video and just call it more stuff I'm bringing to the Rutherford Street Fair. And then I might, or I might just combine everything um, because it's, it's getting down to today's Thursday and I want to um, promote what I'm bringing before the actual event. So let me just go through this. Um, this is that box of um, freewheel bike sprockets, uh, five gear. Uh, basically, bicycle parts. Turns out that these are worth anywhere from like twenty to thirty-five a piece. I didn't deep, heavy research these, so I'm just going to take them out and ask twenty a piece. I will sell them either to um, I don't know guys who need it for bikes 
or bicycle collectors or maybe steampunk guys and also the ones that are painted they uh, did pay, uh, Shimano did paint them here's a, uh, rook, a, a pair of Rookwood vases or a set they're not exactly alike because they were hand painted by uh, uh, it's either Jens Jensen or Jens Jensen um, a famous Rookwood artist uh, who also designed other things uh, I should have taken this out of the bag this is a Super Mario Brothers DS DS Lite um, this is worth about 190 something like that I'm gonna try and get about 90 I have it complete with the game um, this this is a really interesting item this well let me let me do this first. here's a Murano uh, signed Senides let me see if I get that in light should be able to see that Senides Vaz uh, I put 250 on it Prices are all over the place on these. There's some on eBay for thousands of dollars, but ones like this has sold anywhere in the hundreds to maybe 400 or whatever price range. I don't think I'm going to sell it. It'll probably wind up on eBay, but I'll take it out anyway. Um, here's a very interesting item. This is actually super rare, and I'm going to make another video talking about this by itself. Uh, let me bring in a light in a second. This is a Atlanta... Braves. It's TBS and it's a Game Boy Pocket. Um, this is like insanely rare. There's a story behind this, so I'm going to tell next. Um, but I'm going to ask a thousand dollars for this. It comes with what I bought it with. Um, a Ken Griffey game that was in it, and then and then some manuals. One of them goes to the Game Boy Pocket. Um, try and find this on eBay. Try and find this anywhere. And all you'll see is, is my, my videos. But I, enough talking about that. I'll talk about a different uh, video. And basically some pretty good condition except for the buttons, which I'm sure could be changed out. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, whatever else I add, I'll add in uh, another video. Oh, um, and I can't remember if I mentioned this. Um, scuff on the side. I'm bringing this to... Rutherford Street Fair, but this is already sold to my friend. Uh, goes by the name, it has some scuffs. Who goes by the name Angry Steve? I talk to him. I talk about him fairly often. Uh, sold. I'm not going to say what he paid for it.